What is up everyone? JD here. Hope you're all doing well today. Today, I'm really excited to bring you a little review. We're going to be talking about the SimCut Krill. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is going through the knife specs some size comparisons to help you with a point of reference, and then we'll jump into my thoughts and impressions. So the Sincut Kyril, I think I said Krill. <laughs> I think I said Krill in the intro. I think, I believe it's called the Kyril. I don't know, someone can correct me in the comments. The Kyril has a 3.19 inch 9CR18 MOV blade. In this instance, it is a coated steel. Handles are 4.12 inches, and I do have the black micarta variant. Overall length coming in at just over seven inches at 7.31 inches, and the claimed weight on the website is 2.87 ounces. Let's go ahead and grab the scale. We'll bring out the scale to verify that weight. So 2.87 scale seems to be rounding up to 2.9. Yeah, so I would say that the right weight is probably fairly accurate. Let's go ahead and move the scale and get some size comparisons going. First, we're gonna bring out the Raccoon from Vosteed. As you can tell, the Sin Cut is smaller overall in length, and then we'll bring out the Spyderco Shaman. So hopefully this is starting to help you with a good reference for the size of the knife. We'll bring out the Benchmade Bug Out, which is a little bit of a smaller EDC in itself. And as you can see, the Kyril is just a little bit smaller. Let's go ahead and bring out the SIG K320 made by Hogue. And we'll move the bug out out of the way. And a couple of budget options, even though we already had the Raccoon out here, we're gonna bring from the parent company or sister company, the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. And then we'll bring out the Civivi Praxis. And as you can sell, tell, just smaller than all of these knives. Being that it is a smaller knife, I am going to use the smaller knives for thickness profile comparison. So you get an idea just how thin or chunky the knife is, how it'll ride in pocket, and hopefully that'll help you with the feeling in hand. So you can see it is thinner than the Button Lock 2 Elementum. We'll bring out the Bug Out. And as you can see, the Bug Out is just slightly thinner and we'll bring that raccoon back out here as well and the raccoon is just going to be whoops just a little bit thicker well with all of those size comparisons out of the way let's go ahead and jump into my thoughts and impressions we'll start with the ergonomics very comfortable it's fairly neutral and if i didn't mention this it is a ferrum forge design which is outstanding that you're getting a designer knife with budget materials under $50. That is really, really cool. And I would say that it does kind of look a little bit like a Ferrum Forge design. Normally they do like a drop point type blade. Um, this one being more of a sheep's foot style blade, but I can kind of see some of the characteristics from a Ferrum Forge design here, especially with that flipper tab. It is flat scales on steel liners. Don't think that they milled it out, and I don't know that I can show it because it is the darker liner. So let me go ahead. Yep, yeah, no milling here whatsoever, and still coming in at under three ounces. So the small weight of the knife is what helps keep it down. The backspacer is G10, even though the scales are micarta, and it does have a fold over deep carry clip that is reversible. So that is nice. Sincut, Civivi, they both do a really good job with the micarta. It's smoother but still roughed up enough to give you some texture for some good gripping. While we're here looking at the scales, the lockup on the knife itself coming in, and I know the black makes it a little bit hard to see, but it's coming in at about, am I still, okay, coming in at about 20%. And as you can see here, the reflection from the caged ceramic bearings that are in those phosphor bronze washers as you do find with some cuts of Eevee and we access to the lock bar is a little tight a little tight for me with the larger hands but if you lay your finger down and just slide it over it's fine coming in from the side a little tight and lifting up on it a little tight but it's a little easier than getting the thumb in there for that Really interesting that they decided to go with this sandwich construction. So it looks like the pivot 
and these two screws are holding the scales on. And then I have to assume, because we'll do a disassembly later, that there's screws here holding the actual, or at least one screw on each side, holding the backspacer in place with the, um, well, maybe the pocket clip screw might be, no, might be, I don't know. No, it might be two screws holding it in place. I can't really tell, or maybe a screw on each side and a pin. So that is very interesting to see. With the SIM cuts to date, you do get two screw sides. You don't get a label side, so they do put their branding here on the blade, which is fine. It doesn't offend me in any way, shape, or form. As far as the ergos, again, it is comfortable in the choked back position, but for me, when you're moving up to choke up, doesn't matter even if i'm putting the first knuckle in there i feel the edge of the blade touch the inside of my fingers so this definitely feels like it's more suited for medium to large hands if you have large and above this is going to be a really tight fit getting into that finger choil as much cutting edge as they gave you i kind of wish they would have pushed out that finger choil a little bit more because for those that have bigger hands that might like small, smaller knives this would be pretty good especially if you're on a budget and you're looking for something under 50 dollars 9 cr is stainless holding a good edge and being fairly tough for the money that you're spending on the knife really good edge from the factory it slices nicely and i broke down just a knife box or no i'm sorry it was an amazon box i saved the knife boxes here more lately but it was an amazon package box that i broke down into you know smaller sections to put away and it did just fine and as you can see the stone wash holding up pretty good overall it's a nice utility shape. You're gonna be able to easily get out to the tip to get into your packages. And then you can put your finger back on top of the flipper tab to be able to do some push cutting. If you're not doing consecutive heavy duty work, this is a decent size for EDC. Again, if you have those medium to large hands and smaller hands, small, small to large. I would say when you hit large, you're gonna be really pushing your limits as far as the comfort and holding it in hand. And I mentioned thin edge works really well. Lock bar access. Let's talk about that flipper tab. Flipper tab, I've missed it a couple times trying to light switch in this manner. I have found that it works best when you push button. The action is smooth. It's going to shake home. And that flipper tab is really comfortable on those push button type deployments. I find that that works the best for the knife. Pocket clip is okay. These still are not my favorite because I do feel them a ton inside the palm. Even in the smaller one, I feel it in the palm. And man, I just really feeling that edge on there. Alternative recommendations. I'm going to say again, that caveat that I've been hammering home here the whole video. If you have small to large hands, this is going to be a nice EDC if you like the looks. You're not using it a whole bunch so that that 9CR isn't going to need a lot of attention all the time. So if you're cutting things constantly and it's your main knife, this is probably not for you. If you're carrying it and you're fidgeting with it and you're just opening some packages on occasion, occasionally cutting some things, this is going to be a solid knife in all honesty. I really like the fact that they're giving you this micarta too because as you use it, carry it, fidget, with it, it's going to create a patina and it's going to make it look really good. I think things that are worn that show wear look so much better. Now, if you have larger hands and you want to spend around this same price point, you can get the Praxis, which is a much larger knife, going to have much better ergonomics. And if you like a bigger knife that is still going to be really slicey, this is a very slicey knife. They both come with the 9CR18 MOV steel. So it is going to suit you just the same, except it's going to give you that larger footprint that you might be looking for. And again, these are coming in at under 50, but I believe it's with G10 as opposed to that micarta. And it is not a designer knife. It's an in-house design. I don't know that that necessarily matters to anyone that watches my channel, but I just want to mention that. Access to the lock bar is a lot better on the Praxis, but... I mentioned the Praxis because, and even though I don't have one because it's too small for me, if you wanted something that has a little bit better forward finger choil for you in that small to medium range, and you like something that has a taller flat ground that's going to be a bit more slicey, they have the mini Praxis. 
So I did want to mention that because it is a really good alternative. Outside of that, I mean, you can spend under 60. You can get the raccoon. Keep in mind though with the raccoon, and I still haven't gotten my spring in. I don't know if they're back ordered or when they're coming, but it's been a little while since I ordered them. But that button lock, it can be, and I'm trying to be careful here because I don't want to break it and cause it to hit me. I can feel it starting to give. Um, I just can't get into a good position to show where it's it's breaking. But there has been some controversy around that lock. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that because it was brought up in the comment. As far as the sim cut, small hand friendly in my opinion. For larger hands, not so much, unless you really don't care about the fact that you're going to be touching the edge of that blade every time. I mean, even here, I'm right next to it. So if you're performing all your tasks like this with very large hands, opening packages, and that's really it, you know, it's going to be a great knife for you, especially if you're on a budget. But otherwise, I would recommend the Praxis, to be completely honest. I think that would be better suited. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, leave a like. Consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I'd love to have you follow along. I want to set, give a shout out and thanks to everyone that is subscribed, regularly liking, commenting, and for all of your support. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.